Hey friends, Greg here with the Pennywise guys. I want to show you an inexpensive way to pressure check, to evacuate, and to recharge your new mini split air conditioner. Let's get started. All right, I want to show you how you can pressurize and check for leaks on your newly installed mini split system. And I've got a cheaper way to do it, and let me show you how. Basically, the best way to check for leaks is to pressurize the system. Most AC contractors will use nitrogen gas. All right, I got this hooked up to my MIG welder CO2 tank. It goes up to 80 pounds pressure. It's enough to test the uh, lines to see if there's any leak with a bubble test. And it's a lot cheaper than nitrogen. If you don't have uh, any AC uh, friend that, that has nitrogen tank, but you have a friend that has a MIG welder, then that MIG welder is going to have a CO2 tank. CO2 gas is pretty cheap and if you want to head and just give them a few bucks to use a little bit of gas to test your system, what I did is I took 5 16 hose, 20 foot length of hose is like five bucks, and a, um, a clamp a hose clamp here on this end and on the other end I'll show you how I connected that and tighten it really tight pressure check it with the bubbles to see if uh, the, the the line is leaking and get it really tight it doesn't leak uh, turn your regulator all the way up so it goes to 80 pounds and you can check your your system I have no problem using this on a new system where you haven't charged the lines yet the, the uh, the compressor unit has the charge built into the tank or to, into the unit, and um, so you're you're having no problem having a line set being tested with CO2 gas. It's inert gas, and uh, as soon as you get a pressure check and bubbled, and you evacuate it out, like I'll show you, and it's good to go. Once you charge it, and you have a refrigerant in the system, and you need to check your lines down the road, and you have residual oils and refrigerant. You might rethink this strategy, but I've used it on that systems. I have had no problems. I've had some, some guys say, no, you shouldn't do it. Some guys say it's okay. But uh, there is no problem on a new system where you haven't charged the lines yet. They're perfectly dry. And when you evacuate that gas out, there's no residual gas in the system at all. It doesn't absorb into the oil because there's no oil in the lines. So it's uh, okay to test it that way. And then once you know you have no leaks, you can, uh, what, with the bubble test, then you can evacuate it, uh, get everything vacuumed out, and then charge it, and it should be fine. The cost is a tremendous savings over using nitrogen gas. So that's just an option for you, and that's what I do. It works well. I took the adapter that I have that goes from quarter inch fitting to 5 sixteenths because the 5 sixteenths is what goes on the manifold here okay and so there's adapters that, that, that go from the the lines on the gauge set to from quarter inch to 5 sixteenths so I took that 5 sixteenths adapter took a hacksaw blade cut it off right there and then I went ahead and put a deburred it and got rid of the burr and put the vinyl hose on on there with the hose clamp okay it currently is pressurized and like I showed you you just mix up a bottle of dish soap in water a lot of dish soap I'd say about three or four ounces and a half a bottle of water and squirt all around the fittings and watch for bubbles you'll see that right here my vacuum line or that vac that line that I added is bubbling up just a little bit and that's what you'll see if you will have a leak in your lines. Okay, so you do here, around the manifold, and that, that's just to show you, see the bubbles bubbling there? That's what you don't want to see bubble up around your line set. You do this inside and outside, okay? And if you have a problem, get it fixed. Okay. Now what we're going to do is, so that was a good sign that it, we, we actually had pressure in the system because we're checking the checking for leaks because sometimes a, a Schrader valve will, will be defective and you don't get the, the uh, 
pressure in the system. So I just want to verify that we did, yes, get pressure in the system. So when we checked it, we're checking for leaks and actually have a pressurized system. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finger tight the line on here. So we have uh, my red line goes to the vacuum pump, blue line goes to the unit. These vacuum pumps, you can rent them. It's not even a rental, it's a loan tool. You pay a deposit, a $200 deposit at AutoZone, or you can go to uh, Craig and O'Reilly's, they have them as well uh, for almost a couple hundred bucks for a uh, deposit fee. You can use the pump and then when you're done, return it and get your money back. So it is a free uh, use of a vacuum pump. So I got that hook up, I'm going to go ahead and switch on the vacuum pump. Okay, come over here and open and do this with one hand. There we go, open the, this side and let that draw down. It's going to have to use the... What we're going to try to do is get this drawn down ideally 90 to 29 um, inch uh, of vacuum. 29 inches of vacuum would be the ideal, but... Um, Oh, okay. I noticed there was a problem. I didn't have this line tightened down. Okay, now that I have that tight, that's tight. Now I come back over here and you see that the, the vacuum's going down. I found on these pumps that they're kind of abused. You may get one that doesn't even work. So what I do is I take my gauge set in with my blue hose hooked up and I ask them, can I go ahead and plug this unit in at the store and check to see what the, uh, the vacuum is on it? And you'll find some that don't even work at all. They don't check them when they come back. They just loan them out to somebody else. And get it evacuated out, let it go for half hour to an hour, and then you're ready to charge. So I'll get back when we're done here and I'll show you how to charge the system. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just open this up all the way slowly here. all the way till it stops okay we're gonna go ahead and open up the other line all the way until it stops okay the system is charged and we should be able to get it going here I pray that you are blessed that you know him who is the author of life.